Hello, everybody. Welcome to Inner STEM Talks, episode three. Uh, my name is Mary, and I am the um, chapter president for San Diego, as well as the moderator for today's little podcast episode. Um, we are going to be doing a fun take on a debate. It's not really going to be a formal debate, but more of just an opportunity for you students and um, maybe parents to sort of get an input on a lot of the AP STEM courses offered at various high schools or maybe even middle schools. So we have five awesome um, San Diego chapter members here today, and they are each representing an AP class that they have taken um, or are taking currently and these are AP classes that they really liked and they I guess they really connected with them because they are willing to sort of answer some questions that students have asked and um, just give their input on the class as a whole so again I will introduce myself um, one more time my name is Mary and I am the chapter president for San Diego so um, Abby can you start us off by introducing ourselves Hi, I'm Abby, and I am part of the outreach team in the San Diego chapter for InterSTEM, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Mihika, and I'm the development officer for InterSTEM. Hi, my name is Camila, and I don't have an official officer position, but I'm super happy to be a part of InterSTEM. I'm Kushi, and I'm the publicity officer for the San Diego chapter. I'm Gina, and I'm the editor-in-chief for the San Diego chapter. Awesome. So that is our panel for today. Um, so I will be um, going over all of the AP classes featured, um, and whoever is taking on that role, um, just say, you know, like I or me or whatever, just so our audience knows who's doing what. So the first class that we will be discussing is AP Chemistry. I'll be talking about that. Awesome. Um, and then we have AP Psychology. It's a fun one. That's me. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Um, ooh, we have AP Biology. That's me. Sounds cool. Excited for that one. We have AP Computer Science A. That'll be me. Awesome. And then last but certainly not least, we have AP Calculus. That's me. Awesome. Okay, so these are five pretty common AP classes. Um, I know that the school that we all go to, Script Ranch High School, offers them all, and a lot of other high schools do as well. So with that said, I did offer a forum recently where students and parents can input any questions or scenarios that they want to share with us. Um, and I have one you know, question slash situation for each particular subject, and I will be sort of stating those, and the person that is representing that specific subject can go ahead and answer that question um, in order to maybe clarify something for the um, person that asked. So let's go ahead and start with um, AP Biology. So we have um, a freshman, so uh, this is all anonymous. So we had a freshman, and uh, next year, their school offers AP Biology, and you know, they never really have taken an AP before, so they're a little nervous, and they're at the time where it's, you know, they need to pick out their classes, so um, he or she, or, uh, you know, they believe that, you know, many sophomores take AP Biology as their first AP Science, and so that sort of makes them want to take it. And um, Abby, I believe that you took this class as an underclassman as well. So, you know, was it difficult for you, I guess is what they're asking. Did you struggle? And, you know, what did you do to really like alleviate those particular struggles that you may have had? Um, for me, honestly, since it was also my first um, AP STEM, um, I obviously, I struggled a lot with it because there's a lot of information to take in. With The thing with biology is that there's a lot of concepts to know and a lot of vocabulary, so there's a lot of memorization along with application. Um, what I did to alleviate those challenges was, like, um, speak it out loud. That's what, like, our teacher, Mrs. Fowler, suggested, to, um, suggested for us to do, and I tried to just, like, speak to a wall, speak to, like, um, your stuffed animal or something. I talk to my sisters a lot, like, I blabber about biology to my sisters a lot, and that helped me. So yeah, that's like my main um, advice to like help with um, learning the material. 
For sure, yeah. AP Biology is a lot of material, so it can be really um, frustrating at times, but I think that it is a lovely AP class. Let's go to AP Chemistry. So we had an input saying that AP Chemistry, they kind of just blatantly said it's a death wish, and like I really think that I, I really think that, like, Cushy, I, like, we want to know your input. Like, is it really a death wish? Like, that doesn't sound very appealing. Or do you think that maybe it was worth the the death? You know, what's your opinion on that? Um, yeah, so AP Chem is definitely a really hard class. I can say that. It was easily the hardest class that I took um, in all of high school so far. Um, but I, I have to say it was also one of my favorite classes because – even though it's really hard, it's a really good class. You learn a lot of good material that will, that's like also applic applicable for like other STEM classes. So even though it's really hard, it's definitely going to be worthwhile for you to take it. For sure. I mean, I'm already convinced, honestly, like I, I really want to take it now too. Okay, let's go to AP Calculus. So we have a student and they're ready to go into their junior year, like best year of high school I heard um I'm just kidding so anyways they want to basically they're nearing the end of their third year of like high school math so um maybe like integrated math three or like algebra two whatever the case may be and um so at their school they have a pre-calculus and then they have a calculus and I guess most kids are supposed to take pre-calculus before they transition into calculus however this student really just wants to push those boundaries, I guess, and just jump straight into calculus their junior year. So, Gina, I believe that you sort of skipped pre-calculus as well and you jumped straight into calculus. Um, and I guess the student is asking, like, do you regret this choice? Um, is there anything you had to do specifically maybe over the summer to prepare for, like, such a difficult course? Um, thank you for your question. Um, well, for me personally, taking uh, – advanced integrated math three, it wasn't really related to calculus. Um, so I didn't really have any background going into AP Calc. Um, I definitely don't regret uh, skipping pre-calc because basically everything I needed to know for calculus, I learned at the beginning of the year um, in AP Calculus. I didn't really do any preparation over the summer because I had a really good teacher. Um, but honestly, I don't think there's anything that you should worry about. Uh, by skipping pre-calculus. Sounds great. Yeah, I think that you should really just push yourself. Get like get it done. It's a really beneficial class from what I've heard. Alrighty, thank you, Gina. Let's go into psychology. So we have a student, and you know they're nearing to, towards their senior year, like class of twenty twenty two. And psychology is a AP that's offered. Um, it is a really popular AP at their school. And I guess in their situation, they have to take that risk, apparently, because if they don't get in, they'll be stuck in, like, some class they don't want, I guess. Um, so there's that factor. And so they're wondering, you know, they know that it is probably or presumably for them the most interesting AP. Um, and then they also heard that it's pretty easy. So that's kind of like a win-win situation. So, Camila, like, do you agree that it's, like, the easiest and the most interesting AP, or do you think it's, like, difficult, or did you, like, hate it, you know, any, any input on that? So, basically, psychology, it's going to be, like, a mix of a lot of different sciences, so I think a misconception about psychology is that it's less of a scientific AP than biology or, you know, uh, chemistry or it doesn't involve math, which most sciences do, um, but it actually pulls from a lot of those subjects. So um, it, it can be difficult in that way if you, maybe you don't have enough background in those, but I wouldn't let difficulty be a motivator for taking it. If you're really interested in the mind and how it works, then psychology is a good class for you to take, for sure. And I really enjoy it personally, so. Yeah, I suggest it. Yes, we love we love a nice brain moment. Perfect. Okay, thank you, Camille. We really appreciate that answer, and I'm sure it'll help them in one way or another. Okay, so lastly, we have a question about comp size. So this student really wanted to take AP Computer Science A. However, they have no previous coding experience. I mean, they like they haven't even like they don't even know what the code looks like. Essentially, like they they preface to me that they had no idea and 
Of course, this is a little dependent on how thoroughly the teacher teaches. However, Mihika, I was wondering, like, did you have any previous coding experience? If you did, do you think this really gave you like an advantage? And if you didn't, do you think it gave you a disadvantage? And how did you sort of adapt to the class? Because it can be really difficult, you know, coding and so, like coding is just something we, um, not all of us are super experienced with. So just how was your experience with that? So I actually did go into AP Computer Science A with a little bit of experience. I took um, Principles of a Computer Science the year before, and it did give me some of, somewhat of an advantage at the beginning of the year because the beginning of the year is mostly just review. So teachers are going to cover all the basic concepts that you need to know in order to be a successful coder and write code in the language that um, they're going to teach you. But that my experience only really helped me at the beginning. We were going over basic concepts. Towards the middle and the end of the year, we learned a lot of new things. So I would say that everyone was kind of on the same level. I didn't really have an advantage at that point. Um, but I would say that you don't need to be too scared of it because they do cover all of the basics and everything you need to know in order to learn the more advanced concepts in computer science. Sounds good. Yeah, I personally, you know, wasn't the best with computer science, but the teacher I had really gave me that like basis in order to understand it. So yeah, I totally agree that teachers are pretty good at giving that introduction. Okay, so I think we've gone through um, all of those just initial questions. Now I sort of have just um, some general questions asked for everyone. So let's go in the order in which we introduce our names. So we have a student who's actually taking a couple of these APs right now. They didn't specify which ones, but they are taking a couple of them and they're really struggling with finding resources right now, especially during online learning. It can be hard to get that like good quality teacher instruction. We are doing the best, you know, teachers are doing amazing. However, it's still really hard and there's a lot of discrepancies between, you know, learning. So, um, can we start with Abby? What are some like online resources you use during your time in AP Bio? And then we can go on to Mahika, Camila, et cetera. For me, um, my top uh, re online resource is Bozeman Science on YouTube. So many videos of Bozeman Science, especially before tests, um, like just like reviewing, like after reading the textbook or before reading the textbook. Like I always look to Bozeman Science. Another good one, this was like used since like middle school, but I still watch it. Um, it's Amoeba Sisters, also on YouTube. It's very good review and it's also very good introduction because like they have, they provide like the bare basics. So like that's like a really good way to get you started and get the ball rolling. Yes, for sure, for sure. So Mihika, do you have any resources that you'd recommend? So I totally agree with Abby about Bozeman Science. That just covers like a wide range of topics for basically like any STEM class you could imagine. Um, something else um, that's helped me a lot through online learning is just like making study groups or just talking to your friends because chances are you guys are all like struggling together. But um, when you guys, you know, come together and talk it out, it's a lot easier to understand concepts, you know, explain it to each other, work with each other. So I totally recommend kind of creating a study group for the classes you need that extra help in. For sure. Yeah. Love, love my friends. They're the best. We we're struggling together. Totally. Okay. Camila, do you have any resources? Yeah. So I actually just recently discovered, um, crash course, um, psychology. Uh, yeah, the Crash Course YouTube channel has a series for psychology, and honestly, it goes along pretty well with the AP um, structure that they have. I would also say just like the AP, um, my classroom, my classroom would work as well. I know they put up like unit videos, and they have um, psychology teachers across the country um, explain c concepts. Another thing that I would just stress as well is like use your teacher, email your teacher your questions. Your teachers are there to help you for the most part and they obviously know the subject well because they're teaching it. So that is definitely a resource as well. I Honestly, yeah, teachers, teachers are here to help you guys and it can be sort of hard to make that first initial step towards, I guess, just reaching out. But I feel like once you do, 
you are going to get the help that you need. Um, Kushi, do you have any suggested resources for what was called the death wish? I feel like that would be important, right? Well, yeah, along with what everyone else said, a big thing to use in Canva, and even like in any class, honestly, is Quizlet. I know everyone knows about it, but it's, it's honestly like one of the biggest things I've used in high school. And a tip that I learned actually from fellow member Mihika is to, when you memorize things, memorize it from term to definition and definition to term, because that will like ensure that you have actually memorized the material. Yes, I love how we're like using each other to get these ideas. Yeah, I'm honestly learning a lot right now from this. Like I, I honestly want to like take all these AP classes right now. Like these are very inspirational responses. Um, Gina, do you, I mean, you're taking calculus. I know calculus is probably the most commonly take, like one of the most commonly taken AP classes out of, you know, not just this panel, but all, I don't know, 20 something, 30 something of them. So with that said, are there any resources that you have found during um, your time taking calculus? Um, personally, I have found that Khan Academy provides a lot of great practice problems. Okay. Um, I found that YouTube provides a lot of great walkthroughs for solving problems um, that I might not be able to solve myself. Um, other than that, I think uh, Khan Academy um, and YouTube would be your best resources for help with calculus. For sure. I, I love a good Khan Academy moment, honestly. Like, what's his name like salicon really good like really good explanations yes i love all of these resources um i'm sure that our listeners are gonna jot these down i know i am jotting these down um great awesome and remember um for all our listeners that interstem does offer tutoring services for all of these stem ap's plus some more so if you're still struggling which is completely okay like we get it it's, it's the crazy uh, coronavirus season. We don't have um, too much help with schooling and everything. Um, make sure to go to interstem.us and visit our tutoring website, which is linked through there, where you can access um, free tutors with uh, custom syllabi and custom lesson plans. And hopefully that can be another resource for you guys to use as well. Um, with that said, we are wrapping up this podcast. Um, is there anything else that any of you uh, wonderful people would like to say about your AP class? Any last pitches? Maybe like a good luck to our listeners? Good luck to anyone taking the Death Wish class. I promise you it won't be death and it'll be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Mihika, do you have anything? Yeah, I just wanted to um, echo that. Good luck to anyone taking any AP classes in general. Develop your good study habits and keep that consistency throughout, and you're going to do great. Yes, for sure. Yes, Camila, do you have anything else? Honestly, on top of that, like you should also just don't be afraid to try subjects that interest you. Like If they're labeled AP, that doesn't mean anything. That's just like you're going to get – a deeper understanding than your normal classes if you go into the AP subjects. So don't be nervous or afraid. Just do your best and you'll learn a lot. For sure. Those, those AP tasks get you credit. They really do, um, which can be really helpful if you plan on attending university or you know, any sort of college in the future. Um, is there any last uh, little pitches before we close? Yes, Abby, do we have anything else to say? Also, like everyone says, good luck to everybody taking any AP, like any AP classes, whether STEM or not. Um, also, don't be afraid to ask your teachers questions. Like I normally get scared too, but honestly, like your teachers are always there to help you. They're there by your side. They want you to succeed as much as you do. So, for sure, we love we love our teachers, especially during these rough times. Is there anyone else that would like? Yes, Gina. Gina's going to finish us off. Is there anything you'd like to say for encouragement? Um, yeah, it's just like uh, all the everyone has said so far, good luck um, on all on any of your AP class, AP course endeavors. Um, don't be afraid to challenge yourself. And I'm sure that you will all do great in whatever course that you choose. 
Yes, I, I second that. You guys are going to do amazing. These are difficult courses during difficult times, but if you put your mind to it and you work hard, you will succeed. Um, and all of the people on this panel, or all these people on the panel, are um, examples of that. They've all done amazing in their AP classes in which they've represented. So with that said, thank you all so very much for listening to Inner Stem Talks Episode 3. And um, we hope that you've learned a lot from this series. Bye.